Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another uh, Logging from Scratch episode. Uh, so basically, we're going to continue cutting like we were in the last episode, because uh, we do want to get as much of this wood out of here as possible. Oh, my little end disappeared. So I'm just eyeballing it, kind of cutting here, what feels right. I was using a measuring stick, but I'm kind of too lazy now, and I can pretty much guess how far I'm going here. And I'm not sure if cutting it smaller makes it more worth more, or how that works. Probably worth less, I imagine, in little chunks. But this is actually kind of fun, because it's like doing it, you know, it's like doing firewood. Except you're making $2,000 a load instead of like, you know, $50, $70 a load. <laughs> There's a little bit of a difference there. A long tree, this one. Oh, I can see the end. We made it. Okay. Let's throw all of this in there. And we'll just keep stacking it up until we can't fit any more. And then when we can't fit any more, we'll just keep adding more to it. So what I wanted to try to do is build kind of a base and then stack it front to back. Oops. I drunkenly can do that. Let's grab this stick and kind of shift it over here a little bit. See, we're being like a, a ground loader man. Loader man. <laughs> kind of sort of like. You probably stick a couple of sticks in here. Or maybe not. Maybe that's too much. Alright, well, whatever. We'll just do this then. I don't think the physics are uh, dead on on this thing. Yeah, the, the collision box sticks out a little bit from that back window. It should have a headache rack on it if you're going to do something like that. I mean, come on. So, we'll just kind of keep doing this kind of idea. This is funny. Logging like this is just a whole other world for me. When you're used to, like, producing, you know, like, well, you know how much we normally produce in multiplayer, or in uh, single player with those big loaders pumping out trees like Mad Men making, you know, $100,000 a day. To going to this where you're making like a couple grand a day. But it's fun. It's humbling actually doing it this way because it's like you start to uh, realize how much you really enjoy using those big machines. Because <laughs> you're like, man, those actually save quite a bit of time logging. But this is fun. Definitely fun. Nothing like logging from scratch. Oops, I gotta be careful. There's one thing at Giants that drives me nuts. I wish they would, like, tighten up these collisions. Like, why have a collision like that? Like, why not detail it? Why not bring that collision, like, right up with the cab? Like, I don't know, it's laziness, I guess. Sorry, Giants, but you guys are lazy. You need to, uh, whoever's in charge of your physics team, you need to uh, tell him to get his shit together. As a person who's been modding on this game, I feel I have all right to judge people for physics because I put a lot of time in trying to make physics proper and make them nice and smooth. Alright, well, it's kind of a wacky load, but it's a load. Is that one attached? Kind of, sort of. At least this load looks a lot better than our last one. Our last load was kind of sketchy. Oh, easy, easy. Pull over and pull over and check our load. I think. I think it's just weighted pretty hard on the right hand side there, so that's probably why it's acting a little weird. I wish the tailgate went down. Actually, that'd be kind of cool. And I could just push it all out. All right. So, like I said, I could probably just drive through the cell point, but I'm just going to throw it off into the cell point instead. Oops. Or have it all fly all over the place. That's possible, too. Where's the cell point, anyway? It's like... Kind of... Oh, it's on the ground. Okay, so, so it won't absorb it into the air. Oops. <laughs> if, I drove, if I drive over the cell point, it doesn't actually... Uh, 
Oh, it does sell it. How does it sell it? It's like way down there. Oh, all right. Well, next time we'll pull over. We'll back up to the yellow and throw them off properly. I kind of want to do it where it's not insta-sell. I don't know. Just to make it a little bit more realistic. All right, let's go cut some more trees down. But like I said, I didn't want to. I could be. I could be really cheap and just go cut down a tree across the street and drag it over with the um, truck or something like that. But it doesn't feel very realistic to me. So we're gonna try to. We're gonna try to keep it as realistic as possible, I guess. Like, there's lots of trees on the road, but in real life, you wouldn't go fall down a tree right on the highway unless you wanted the cops to arrest you. But, we can do some clearing into, like, a little side road like this. Where nobody seems to mind. What we could do is you could actually, um... Well, you can't lift the tree or else I'd try that. So you could probably load it on there so when it fell, you could, uh... Actually, you know what? Let's find a flatter spot so we're not working on a hill. How about that? Let's go Let's go exploring here. Let's go find a flatter area. Look both ways before we cross the street. Looks clear. All right, let's go over here. We're going to go up into this guy's farm here. And maybe we'll cut down a couple of these trees over here instead. Yeah, look at this nice roadside spot here. I like this. This, this feels quaint. So we're just going to park the truck out of falling range here. Uh, we'll cut down this one. Nice. Get that guy. We'll get this one. And... Oh, that's a big one, isn't it? We'll save you. We'll just get the little ones for now. We'll save the big one. That one... And this one. That'll be good for for that. Alright, let's run through, snip all these up. Do a quick delimming here. Do, 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 do. Who needs farming? You could just be a logger from scratch, man. Why not? You guys laugh now, making my two thousand dollars a day, but you wait when I buy the uh, the heavy duty equipment. And I'm suddenly clear-cutting this whole whole forest. Then we'll see. Oh, then we'll see. Well, let's park this. Actually, let's park this like right alongside this. Then we can just do a quick buck here. Boop. Actually, using my keys to see if I can. Uh, just doing a one, two, three kind of thing to see if I can actually. The smash is gonna be sweet. Smash it at the back window. Just. Oops. I'm just gonna do it this way. It's kind of fun. So I'm gonna do one, two, three. That's gonna be my. Uh, that's gonna be my cut thing. I realize some of these are shorter because I didn't do one, two, three. I'm literally just tapping the uh, left movement key three times. Cause it's got a designated amount of space you actually move when you do it. There's a tree. Lock that down. Get that piece, but that's okay. <laughs> Solid physics right there, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Park about halfway up. All right. So we'll start here. So that's our car point. So one, two, three. That's how I'm using my measuring. And then just one, two, three. It, I think I think it's keeping it somewhat accurate. One, two, three. Maybe it won't be accurate. Maybe it'll be terribly too big for the truck. Two, three. Two, three. I'm having fun. Uh, 
actually get quite a few pieces doing this method out of uh, one of these trees. And then just probably snip that end right off. Boop. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Yeah, hey, it's working. It's such a weird way to log. I just can't get over how funny this is. Wish you could do this in real life. Just go like randomly out to some side road, cut a bunch of wood, bring it to the mill, and sell it. I don't think they'd want it. I don't think they'd want it. Alright, we're gonna load the rest of this truck and then we'll call her here. We're gonna be pros at chucking this wood around here pretty soon though. Keep this shit up. Boop. Alright, okay, so we got it that far. That's good. I'll turn this off just so it's not constantly wasting fuel. Um, so yeah, when we come back, we'll keep loading up, cut some more of these trees down. And then I, I imagine we're not too far away from being able to upgrade maybe to something new. Maybe get something with some some with some tongs on it so we can really move some wood. That'd be fun. But anyway, uh, if you guys like the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Do not forget to subscribe. And if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.